Good evening everyone and welcome to the 22nd York Sport Union Colours Ball. This year we are celebrating the achievements of the 65 different university sports clubs, the players, the coaches, the student journalists and the committees. Colours Ball 2020 will be one like never before. Whilst COVID-19 has meant we sadly cannot celebrate in person, we hope you'll join us for an evening celebrating you, the students and your achievements as our surprise guests help unveil the winners of each award. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, a snack, a three-course meal and enjoy the evening. 2019-20 was a short but great year for York Sport Union. We hosted and won a successful college varsity, which attracted more spectators than ever before. Before Bucks was cut short by COVID, we were sitting at 37th in the league table. This would have been our best league table finish in several years. We also had seven Conference Cup finalists, one Trophy finalist and one Shield finalist, as well as many fantastic individual performances in Bucks Nationals. Despite bitter disappointment at the cancellation of Roses 2020, York Sport Union rallied and took part in the first ever Virtual Roses. We once again showed Lancaster that roses are white and won the weekend. I want to say a massive thanks to the 40 clubs and societies who got involved over the weekend and helped to raise £4,883 for a wide range of charities. I've loved getting to know all the clubs over the course of the year. It was a real highlight of the week to get out on the field and into the sports centre on Wednesday afternoons to chat to supporters and players on the sidelines. I can't wait to do the same again when it's safe to do so. I want to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to the wider team who worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure sports can happen day in, day out at the University of York. A massive thank you needs to go out to York Sports staff as well as the States, who you will hear more from later this evening. Also to Annie Potter, Nisha Desai and Maisie Clark, without whom your fixtures, travel, bookings, you name it, simply wouldn't happen. You're an absolute joy to work with. Also to the York Sport Union Committee, who despite not having the end of the year they would have wanted, have been absolutely amazing. These eight students give up countless hours to bring to life campaigns, events and charity fundraisers. Not only this, they have helped shape this year's College Varsity and Roses tournament, and I'm sure we'll see the results of the hard work at next year's Roses, which I expect to have them all back for as VIP guests. So without further ado, let's get started with the awards. Our first guest of the evening, here to present Sports Journalist of the Year is York Sport Union Comms Officer Jade Brewer. Let's have a quick recap of the shortlisted individuals. Let's take a look at the shortlist. Patrick Hook Willers, James Moultrie, Lucy Wilde, Dom Smith, Alex Woodward. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Brewer, I'm Communications Officer for York Sport Committee and I'm here to introduce the Sports Journalism of the Year Award. The Sports Journalist of the Year is awarded to a student who has raised an awareness of a variety of sports throughout the year, used an array of social media and other platforms to further engage a wider audience for sport at York and increase sport journalism participation with a professional attitude. The winner of this award is... James Moultrie. James has been a fantastic asset to the new sports team this year and was a key part of their nomination for best sport coverage at the SPA Awards for the third year in a row. Every week he goes and watches Bucks matches to write match reports and has written several good comment pieces on hard hitting sports issues, including gambling addiction and homophobia in rugby league. Congratulations, James. Thank you for the nomination. It's uh, nice to be nominated alongside the rest of the new sport team and I think it just shows how hard uh, me, Dom, Lucy, Alex and Pat have worked across the year to continue the section's success from last year. Uh, also, I'm very grateful for everyone at News for being very accepting and everyone in the scene team and across the paper made it so enjoyable to cover sport this year. And lastly, thanks to Maddie and everyone at York Sport Union for giving us a lot of news and information to cover across the year. Uh, so yeah, thanks again. Our second award of the evening is for Charitable Club of the Year. The shortlisted clubs are Swimming and Water Polo, Boxing, Lacrosse, Netball, James College Men's Football. 
and here to present the award are Nicholas Gardner, Communications Officer, and Georgina Newey, Yorksport Union Treasurer. For this award will have raised money and awareness for a variety of charities throughout the year. The highly commended winner in this category is La Crosse. This year, the Cross have held a series of fundraisers and events to encourage a positive conversation around mental health. They hosted a drinks reception and a charity tournament raising money for York Mines and the Charlie Watkins Foundation. The charity tournament drew a crowd of 80 people as the York team took on Hull. Well done, La Crosse. Now over to Georgie for the winner. And the winner of the Charitable Club of the Year is Netball. This year, Netball have organised several fundraisers. They held the Netball Rugby Dinner to raise money for York Mind, as well as the charity Netball Tournament, which saw lots of college and university clubs take part. Netball also spearheaded the Roses of Blue campaign as part of the Virtual Roses fundraiser. A special mention must be given to the Netball President, Sky, who was instrumental in organising this, working alongside the York Sport Union Committee to bring this idea to life. Thanks to Sky, the campaign engaged 10 other university and college teams and raised over £2,000 in one weekend for NHS charities. So UANC, congratulations, you really deserve this award. On behalf of the Netball Club, I just want to say the biggest, biggest thank you for this award. Charity is something that means an awful lot to us as a club and is definitely something we've tried to focus on more this year. So to receive this award is amazing. Um, thank you to everyone that's donated, to everyone that's come along to our events and wanted to get involved in our campaigns. It feels really weird it just being me in this video. It obviously should be the entire club, so I'm really sorry for that. Um, but thank you so, so much for this award. It means an awful lot. Thanks very much, Georgie and Nick. Our third award is for Equal Opportunities. And here to present the award is Yorksport Union Equal Opportunities Officer, Christopher Oldnell. Before Chris presents the award, here's a reminder of the shortlist. Fencing, archery, gymnastics. Hello, my name's Chris and I'm the Equal Opportunities Officer for York Sport Union. Equal Opportunities at the University is so much more than the striped logo that we wear on our kits. It represents a genuine effort to strive for equality in the games that our clubs play, the training that teams do and the community engagement that York Sport provides. This year has seen absolutely amazing work from clubs to engage in equal opportunities, both by providing outside specialist training, in addition to some clubs for giving every student in their club the skills in health and safety to progress equally within their sport. We've seen a united front from York Sport Union in supporting the Red Flag campaign, a campaign which promotes warning signs in relationships of all forms. As well as this, clubs provided specialist sessions for This Girl Can Week. Whilst there's always more that can be done to promote and engage with equal opportunities in sport, we can safely say that York is doing their part and always striving for the best. Therefore, it is now my pleasure to present the Equal Opportunities Award. This is an award that is presented to an individual or a club who have made a positive difference in promoting equality, inclusivity and diversity within sport at York. It is with pleasure that I can announce the highly commended club is Fencing. Following the establishment of a wheelchair fencing team last year, Fencing have gone on to train three students this year who have been invited to attend the GB National Squad Training Camp. This is in addition to a National Squad member already training with the club. It is also with pleasure that I can now announce the Equal Opportunities Award winners are Archery. Archery have championed accessibility and inclusivity this year. They took part in November, as well as campaigning for both LGBTQ History Month and International Women's Day. They also ran a disability awareness shoot that gave a focus that not all disabilities are visible. Archery have also established an inter-college league within the club to give all members the chance to get competitive experience. Congratulations, Archery. Um, hi, on behalf of the University of York Archery Club, I'd like to uh, say thank you very much for the Equal Opportunities Award. Um, I think it's very well deserved. The uh, University of York Archery Club committees worked incredibly hard this year uh, to make the club the most inclusive club at the university. Um, and I mean, first and foremost, I'd like to say thank you to the club secretary, uh, Tara Course. She's done an absolutely brilliant job. Uh, and put simply, the club wouldn't have run without her, never mind would it have won such a great award. Uh, I also think the coaching team, uh, Jess and Siobhan, have done a fantastic job with the beginners course and made it so very inclusive to everyone. 
and the club captain has done a brilliant uh, Vinny has done a brilliant job of uh, running the competitions for everyone and also worked very hard along with Jess on the Movember campaign uh, in support of men's mental health so thank you very much and um, it's been a pleasure to be the president of such a brilliant and inclusive club uh, thank you thanks very much Chris the next award is a new award this year college varsity team of the year and here to present this award is college sport assistant Maisie Clark the clubs nominated for this award are James College Darts Derwent College Women's Football James College Men's Rugby Langwith College Basketball and Alquin College Women's Rugby. Hi, my name's Maisie and I'm the College Sport Assistant for UC. Um, I'm here to present the College Varsity Team of the Year. This award is to recognise the club that has performed strongly throughout all College Varsity events, demonstrating hard work, dedication and passion. The highly commended winners are Derwent College Women's Football. Derwent went from failing to qualify for Varsity last year to this year qualifying as top seed and winning their match 4-1 against Collingwood. The club has grown massively in size, enthusiasm and dedication in the past year through the excellent work of the president and captains to create a skilled and inclusive club. And the winner is James College Darts. During qualifiers, James College produced two comebacks to qualify as top seed. They were matched against Grey College, who have been Durham's top seed for the past three years. On the day, Grey College were no match for James, who beat them, winning the Darts A match in New York first. They also arrived at 8 a.m. to help set up with the dart staging, stayed to referee the B match and stayed behind to pack down the RKC afterwards. So thank you so much and congratulations to James College Darts. Thank you very much. I'd just like to start by saying that it's been an absolute pleasure to captain this James Darts team for the past two years. And especially this year has just been a fantastic year for the for the team, the, the results we've had, the events we've put on, the recruitment that we've had with new players. It's all been fantastic. And then Varsity just capped it off, really. Um, the whole weekend, organising with Durham to make the teams bigger, to get more people involved. Everyone's hard work to set the stage up, run the event. And then to cap it off with the victory was just was just phenomenal. Um, everyone's performances throughout the year, and especially on that day, were fantastic. So just like, especially thanks to, to Mike, Mark, David, Everyone else, they, they all know who they are. They've made my life easy for the past two years. And thank you very much. Our next award this evening is for Most Improved Sports Person of the Year. The nominees are Nicholas Moyimba, Stella Gowans, Rianne Jones, Daniel Riley, Juliet Packard. Our guest to present the award this evening is Richard Orr from York Sport. Hello, hope everyone's keeping safe and well. My name's Richard Oran, I'm the business manager at York Sport. I'm here to present the award for the most improved sports person of the year. The award for most improved sports person goes to an individual who has shown notable and consistent improvement in their standard of performance throughout the year, has gone above and beyond to improve their individual performance in their sport and has improved their representational standing within the club. This year's highly commended winner goes to Nicholas Muyimba. Nicholas joined the volleyball club having never played before. He went from being on the second team to making the first team in his second year. In his third and final year, Nicholas was elected president of the club. His energy on, con on court is contagious and he will stop at nothing when it comes to motivating his teams on the court. Congratulations, Nicholas. And the winner, of Most Improved Sports Person of the Year goes to Stella Gowans. Stella first started playing squash in her college team when she came to university. In her second year, she made the university first team and has been climbing the seedings ever since. This season, she was unbeaten in every books and local league match. She also represented squash in the Conference Cup final, winning her match after coming back from two love down. Congratulations, Stella. Most Improved Sports Person of the Year. Hope everyone's keeping well during lockdown. We can't wait to get you back on campus as soon as it is safe to do so. Thank you. Thank you so much for the Most Improved Player Award. I've really enjoyed learning a brand new sport uh, while I've been here at uni and I've been really lucky to play for the team for the past two years. I've made loads of great friends and I've had a really fantastic time and I'll definitely be playing squash into the future. 
Congratulations to Stella. The next awards are for Sportsman and Sportswoman of the Year. These awards are for an individual who has fulfilled one of the following criteria. A motivated, dedicated and passionate team player. Consistent and exceptional performance throughout the year. Outstanding contribution to a major event, game or tournament. Represented their sport at a regional or national level. The individual shortlisted for Sportsman of the Year are Ben Hardy, Dan Jones, Nakabul Khan, Matteo Albino and William Graham. I would like to welcome Ashley Smith from York Sport to present this award. Hello, good evening um, to everybody at the York Sport Union on what is hopefully your first and only virtual colours ball. Uh, my name is Ashley Smith, I'm the Senior Operations Manager for the York Sport Village um, and I am privileged to be um, awarding um, the Sportsman of the Year Award tonight. Um, I'm sorry we all can't be there. Um, we're all stuck at home, I'm, I'm at home, same as all you guys and usually this night is a brilliant night for celebrating all the successes of individual athletes and teams throughout the year. And for many, through their three years um, at the University of York, or even longer. Um, despite the fact that we're all stuck at home and, and how the year ended, um, let's take some time to recognise all the achievements that's gone on. There's been some brilliant results, some tremendous achievements. Um, I've been privileged to be able to get out onto the 22 acres and the 3G pitches and actually see many of these myself and uh, I'm pleased that these awards have continued, uh, albeit in a virtual sense, but are continued because your success needs to be recognised. So congratulations to all the nominees uh, and all the winners uh, and anybody that's taken part in sport and activities this year on campus. I'm here to award the Sportsman of the Year Award um, and the first award is a highly commended award uh, and that's going to Dan Jones. Now Dan has acted as a volunteer coach for the novice programme at the Boat Club this year uh, and he's won the GB trials in the 2km ergs for the under 23 lightweight men. He also came first in his category at the Books Indoors Championships. He's been invited to the third stage of the GB trials this year Unfortunately, it has been cancelled, but I'm sure that he has many, many great achievements ahead of him. And congratulations on everything that you've done this year. The award winner of Sportsman of the Year goes to Ben Hardy. Now, this year, Ben has had some phenomenal results, both when representing the cycle club and his team, Swift Carbon Pro Cycling. He's placed second in the book's road race, as well as sixth in the book's time trial. His performance at that road race was the best ever achievement by a York cyclist ever. He's also placed 36th in the National Championships road race and 13th in the Under-23 National Time Trial. Ben completes regularly on the European stage as part of tour events as part of Swift Carbon Pro Cycling and has excelled in his role as club captain leading on a number of training air rides throughout the year. Something elite riders have tended not to attend in the past and doing so, he's inspired them to take part in competitive cycling. So congratulations, Ben, on your award. Um, many, many congratulations on your success and to everybody that was nominated in this category and all the other categories. Um, hope you have a great evening for the rest of, of your day and um, I hopefully look forward to seeing many of you on campus very soon. Take care, stay safe, have a good evening. Hi everyone, uh, I guess if you're watching this then this has gone pretty well for me. Um, yeah, I've been happy with my results this last year before lockdown and my progress and everything, so to get some recognition for that is, is real nice. Um, massive thanks to you, Sue, um, their support last, this last year with everything from the scholarship and, and everything else they do is kind of integral to, to the level I race at, which yeah, I'm very thankful for. Um, also to the cycling club, great club. Feel free to join in September uh, if you can. Um, yeah, I hope you're all well and uh, look forward to getting back to, get to uh, York in September. So, cheers. Congratulations to Ben. Now on to the Sportswoman of the Year Award. The athletes shortlisted are Tesney Jones, Emma Lowe, 
Lauren Oates, Lauren Palmer Jones, Amy Ockleton, Katie Mole. And here to present the award is Annie Potter, Opportunities Manager at USU. Hi everyone, my name is Annie. I'm the Opportunities Manager at USU. Even though I've worked here for six years, I still continue to be inspired by all the hard work and achievements of our York Sport Union athletes. I particularly enjoy seeing how women thrive at York. So this year, 48% of our members were women, yet 53% of the total books points earned were from our women's sports teams and individual athletes. A particular highlight was when women's volleyball won the Books Northern Conference Cup, the only York team to do so. It's not all about winning, it's about supporting women and giving them the platform to succeed in their chosen activity. Everyone deserves to play and everyone should be able to do that freely and without facing barriers. So let's continue to provide that support at York and together we can succeed. Now on to the award of Sportswoman of the Year. If you ever need to take inspiration from one person to achieve your dreams, this athlete can certainly provide that. This athlete is a picture of hard work and dedication. Even though she has to be in the biology lab for seven to eight hours a day, she still manages to train 16 times a week. Some of her achievements include finishing eighth in the under 23 GB trials, winning the book's indoor 500 meter race, alongside winning other national rowing competitions. On top of this, she also helps to coach within her club. If you hadn't already worked it out by now, the winner of Sportswoman of the Year is Katie Moore. Congratulations. Hi everyone, if you're watching this, I've been awarded Sportswoman of the Year. I am so incredibly grateful, and other than maybe winning some races this summer, I can't think of a better way to have ended four years of sport at York. It's been the most amazing four years, from learning to row as a novice to going through the GB trials process. I never would have imagined that sport would have had such a big impact on my university life. York Sport, the GB Start Centre, Boat Club and coaches have all played a massive part in this. But I think what sets York apart is the small bits of help that are not always expected. Just a few examples include the kindness of Barbell, saving me from yet another failed lift in the gym. Catering staff who slip me an extra large coffee when I come in from training wet and cold. Lecturers who cast a blind eye when I turn up eating a three course meal. And the gym staff who have raised minimal objections to my gym playlists and always greet me with a smile, even early on a Monday morning. I'm incredibly privileged to have received as much support as I have. And I want to thank everyone who's played their part in this, no matter how seemingly small. Ironically, it's only since starting to compete as an individual that I've realised how much of a team sport rowing can be. So thank you all. Congratulations to all our winners so far this evening. We will now be awarding full and half colours. Colours are awarded to those who have represented their clubs and the university or who have demonstrated outstanding commitment to their sport and the sport union as a whole. Full colours are awarded to Thomas Wilson, Daniel Morris, Jack Brennan, Harry Burge, Luke Wellings, Chris Sidorenko, Flynn Moore, Adam Bates, Jessica Hutchinson, Duncan Garner, Rachel Ayrton, George Mallinson, Edward Lines, George Phillips, Claire Jones, Chris Martin, Daniel Hogg, Alice Smith, Alice Murray, Sarah Hopkins, Amber Malik, Hope Schultz, Antoine Etchesu, Tally Jones, Robert Thorpe, Thomas Dufty, Alina Gatley, Abby Allen, Katie Jago, Eloisa Lewis, Sarah Holdway, Zoe Disley, Andrea Apothecary, Faith Phillips, Megan Hemingway, Sarah Louise Spendlove, Olivia Rowe Parr, Lucy McQueenie, Tesney Jones, Jade Brewer, Jessica Tidy, Sophia Pagnonis, Sarah Coggan, Holly Scribner, Megan Field, Anna Patterson, Kate Thorncroft, Jacob Turp, Tom Minchin, Ben Milnes, Tom Boucher, David Fincham, Dylan Parrott, Max Axton, Richie Haynes, Emma Whiston, Lewis Hines, Connor Ellis, Millie Bell, Lucy Liddell, Luke Silver, Abby England, 
Jason Pereira, Rebecca Castellan, Ben Crompton, Sarah Ruth Opatowski, Jessica Hutchinson, Emily Palfroman, Josh Westwood, Owen Dearman, Andrew Mabut, Piotr Prisborowski, Annabelle Jennings, Ichu Javala, Georgina Williams, Matthew Bowen, Hannah Kapili, Sky Kirkham, Jasmine Lawton, Max Benincasa, Dominic Hanscom, William Carlman, Oliver Ryan, Beatrice Traskow, John T. Herschel Shawland, Luke Kent, Louis McManus, Ross Davidson, Charlotte Robertson, Emma Albrey, Hannah Collier, Laura Jakeman, Katie Crawford, Alana Sullivan, Will Mitchell, Louis Compton, Chris Sharrock, Georgina Newey, Ross MacDonald, Mike Strahilov, Joe Lansbury, Richard Nolan, Miguel Benitez, Jack Simpson, Sky Hornbury, Ellie Poland, Lucy Tyndale, Ned Gill, Estella Harrowing, Talia Burgess, James Woodley, Cameron Fennell, Joe Kimbling, Emma Lowe, Julia Davis, Olivia Armand, Jasmine Eames, Kennedy Tonks. Eleanor Ostheim Dezerowitz, Charlotte Pether, Will Drysdale, Sean Cochran, Tamsin Nicholas, Stella Gowans, Ailey Smith, Billy McLeod, Phil Smith, Nisha Desai, Verity McCoy, Astrid Moorcott, Helen Smithson, Lauren Beckovac, Emily Saxton, Holly Milnes, Kat Cadenhead, Lauren Palmer Jones, Emma Jones, Lily Humphreys, Jacob Boyle, Charlie Eshelby, Ollie Perry, Florian Yates, Emily Sherratt, Jacob Salter, Caleb Davenport, Lottie Bruckner, Ben Paul, Harold Fredheim, Peter Fisher, Eleanor Ashworth, Lily Dimitrova, Nicholas Moyimba, Catherine Tranter, Jack Mason, Nicholas Gardner, Christopher Oldnell, Jade Brewer, O.P. Ajanaku, Reese Pownall. Half Colours are awarded to Katrine Hustad, Saif Abdul Rahman, Callum Simpson, Danny Fig, Tom Barnes, Alice Steele, Cara Gibbons, Olivia Mann, Mohamed Adrian Azahareni, Katarzyna Dirkzinska, Tim Mitchell, Alex Hodder Williams, Kirsten Barnard, Rob Stott, Sam King, Alex Deacon, Rowan Jackson, Georgina Williams, Tom Petchell, Adam Brighty, Aaron Gammon, Amy Colvin, Lucy McLucky, Rachel Mountford, Phoebe Munro, Abby Seaman, Louise Thorpe, Emma Shaw, Bethany Quinton, Lauren Oates, Aurora Popple, Molly Jones, Nadine Greenhall, Lauren Morris, Shrina Patel, Kara Ulyat, Amelia Dunn, Simran Patel, Sean Edwards, Sherelle Clark, Esther Nucky, Kate Duncan, Sophie James, Jessica Stewart, Morvan Ray Seaman, Izzy Sims, Katie Moran, Hannah Rigby, Megan Sidown, Amber Walsh, Ellen Codling, Kitty Harker, Beatrix Greenwood, Brooke Schlipp, Lois Butterworth, Adam Davies, Jack Cleary, Alex Derry, 
Oliver Still, Joe South, Oliver Hopkinson Cook, Tendai Kalima, Will Mitchell, Bethan Williams, Chanda Lamb, Emma Dodworth, Isabel Ringrose, Lily Lewin, Louise Ager, Naomi Sessions, Samantha Eckerford, Sarah Turner, Tilly Craddock, Phoebe Henson, Kieran Ledwell, Avanish Mystery, Alex Hewer, Josh Carr, Pietro Riccardi, Jeremy Forge, Julius Alessiunas, Eloise McMinn Mitchell. Let's get straight back to it with the awards. Next up is Coach of the Year. Here's the shortlist. Derek Norris from Squash, Charlotte Wilson from Equestrian, Tom Prosser from American Football, Duncan Moyes and Daniel Seal from Fencing, Rob Cree from Boat. And here to present the award this evening is Gemma Vesey, Communications and Activities Director at USU. Hi, I'm Gemma, the Communications and Activities Director for USU, and I was also fortunate enough to be one of the judges for this year's Colours Ball. Reading through the nomination shows the sheer amount of sporting talent we have here at York and something we should be immensely proud of. In recent months, I've also witnessed how our clubs have responded and adapted during the pandemic. A significant example of this being Roses 2020, where collectively York Sport Union raised five grand for deserving charities and led our clubs to virtual victory. From all the staff at USU, thank you for being a pleasure to work with this year. Now to coach the year, these nominees have shown commitment and dedication to a club and led a club or team to sporting success. They have promoted and developed teamwork and an inclusive club ethos. They have also been a positive leader of change throughout York Sport Union as a whole. And highly commended coach of the year is Tom Prosser. Tom marked his first year as head coach of the Centurions by leading them to their most successful season. They won their league, earned promotion and were the number one seed in the playoffs. The team are incredibly grateful for his hard work and dedication, often coaching them at 7am in the morning and having to put in contingency plans when the weather affected 22 acres. And the 2020 coach of the year is Derek Norris. Derek has been at the heart of transforming the squash club into a hard-working and focused club this year. Derek has brought so much knowledge and expertise to the club and has been behind the men's twos nearly going unbeaten and the women's ones having their most successful cup run in history, reaching the final of the Northern Conference Cup. He has also organised trips to go and watch pro circuit matches as well as meeting professional players to discuss how to improve players' standards of play. He voluntarily comes to as many club matches as possible to give in-game analysis and cheer from the sidelines. Thank you so much for this award. These are hard times and like so many people I'm not able to do the job that I love. Working with the squash teams at the University of York has been a privilege and a pleasure. All of the players have progressed with their games this year. The team results are a testament to their hard work. Well done all of you. Fingers crossed for the next season and thanks again for this award. I'm now going to go celebrate in the garden. So thank you my great squashies. Keep safe and keep well. Thank you. The next award this evening is for services to sport. Having won highly commended for this award last year, I'm incredibly proud of all the students who received nominations for this award. The shortlist is as follows. Antoine Etchesu, Nisha Desai, Emily Sherat, Katie Eames, Ross Davidson, Jade Brewer. Nominees for this award have shown an outstanding commitment to a club or York Sport Union throughout their university experience. They have a passion to initiate and drive improvement and development of their club or sport 
and are motivated to go above and beyond their role and responsibilities within a club, team or committee. The highly commended winner is Emily Sherratt. Emily has been a committed member of the Trampoline Club, being a coach, competitor and club member throughout her four years at university. She joined the committee in her second year as captain, which saw her organising competitions for the Trampoline Club. Emily then became club president, where she was instrumental in getting the club a fourth trampoline to allow it to expand. She has also since become a member of the NEUT committee who organised trampolining competitions between universities in the north of the UK. This is a vital role as inter-university trampoline competitions would not be possible without this committee. And the winner of the Services to Sports Award is Nisha Desai. When you look at Nisha's achievements, it is incredibly hard to find anything she has not done. Over her four years at York Sport, she has held committee positions for three clubs, pool, swimming and water polo and surf. She has been the president of the swimming and water polo club not once but twice, broken several swimming records and played for the water polo team. She has been the first York athlete to compete in Buck Surf individuals, was appointed fundraising and events officer for the York Sport Union Committee and in her final year, she became the Bucks Sports Assistant. I know that without Nisha, this year's Bucks Wednesdays would have looked incredibly different. And I can't thank her enough for the effort she has put in, not only this year to keep Wednesdays running smoothly, but also for her contributions to York Sport Union as a whole. Thank you so much for this award. It genuinely means so much to me. I have adored getting so involved in sport at York and all the opportunities it's given me and I've got to meet loads of amazing people. Um, I have to give a shout out to my friend Chris Unsworth who won this award a few years ago and has always inspired me to make the most of my time at York. Uh, I also need to thank my Uswick family. There are way too many of you to name individually but you have made my university experience so memorable and it would not have been the same without you. Thank you to my friends at USA who made the cold winter surf trips to Scarborough so much more enjoyable uh, and to my friends from both Goodrick and Unipool thank you for showing me a totally different side to sport and for encouraging me and other girls to get involved in what is typically a male dominated game and finally thank you to my UC sports team so to Tender, Annie, Maddie and Maisie, you make my job not feel like work and it's an absolute pleasure coming to the office every day and working with you. So just from the bottom of my heart, a massive thank you for this award. The next award is for Most Improved Club. Here to present the award is Sean Greenwood from York Sport. But first, here's a reminder of the shortlist. Equestrian, Polo, Softball and Baseball, Golf, Constantine College Hockey. Good evening everyone, I'm Sean, the Senior Operations Manager at York Sports Centre. Uh, this is actually my first time attending the Colours Ball, so this year with it being virtual, uh, it's actually the norm for me. Uh, but hopefully next year everything will be back to normal and we can all celebrate together. Now the award for the Most Improved Club is awarded to a club with a commitment to improved performance, that has improved professionalism in all aspects of the club, that has increased engagement in the local community and increased participation and diversity within the university community. And we have two highly commended winners in Equestrian and Polo. Equestrian have gone from a small club with only one semi-competitive team who had not had a team attend regionals in over 10 years to a club who this year had two teams qualify for regionals and two individuals competing at nationals. Polo have committed to improve their performance levels over the last 12 months at last summer's nationals, the club failed to place, but at this year's winter nationals, two of their teams came in the top three and a third came in the top ten. They have also introduced new term the memberships and tiered membership options to top up participation levels and improve affordability of the club for new members. Now, the 2020 Most Improved Club goes to Golf. Congratulations Golf. Having struggled with numbers to even field one team, the turnaround with Golf has been impressive. They have built up numbers over the past two years to a point where they have been able to enter a second team into books. This year, their first team won the division, winning all their matches, with the second team recording a strong mid-table finish. 
They've also created a brand new service for members to receive lessons from an external coach in order to improve their play. Congratulations, golf. Well deserved. I'm really pleased to be able to accept this award on behalf of the golf club. We've had a great year and would really like to thank York Sport Union and Yusu for their continued support throughout the season. We hope everyone is safe and well in these hard times and are still able to keep up with training. A huge well done to everyone who was shortlisted for and has won an award and I'm sure we're all looking forward to getting back into our sports next year. We hope you all have a good evening. The penultimate award this evening is Team of the Year. Before Catherine Tranter, one of our York Sport Union tournament sex, presents this award, here's the shortlist. Men's Ones Volleyball, Pom Squad Cheerleading, Men's Ones Table Tennis, Women's Ones Volleyball, Men's Cross Country, Women's Squash. My name's Catherine and I'm really excited to be presenting the award for Team of the Year at this year's Online Colours Ball. Um, before I give the award, if my eyes dart across, it's because I've got notes about all the exceptional teams and I don't want to miss any critical information out. Um, so this award is given and presented to a club that has demonstrated outstanding sporting success at an event, a tournament or a competition, has contributed to overall Bucks points and medals through a consistent and sustained team performance throughout an academic year, or who has seen an exceptional achievement within their league. The winners of Highly Commended for this for Team of the Year are the Men's Ones Volleyball Team and the Men's Cross Country Team. The Men's One Volleyball Team came second in the division off the back of promotion last year. They also made it to the final of the trophy and came second in the largest inter-university volleyball competition in the country, the Student Cup. In addition, Mateo was awarded the MVP Most Valuable Player Award at the tournament, which is an amazing and tremendous achievement. The men's cross country team has seen a resurgence this year with successes on a local and a national level. In partnership with the City of York Athletics Club, they won three out of the four rounds of the West Yorkshire Cross Country League, which meant that they won the series. At the Bucks Cross Country Championships, the team came 10th in the men's A race. This is an exceptional performance given that every university that had beaten them has had or does have a performance programme which helps them attract Britain's top athletes. But finally, on to the winner of the team of the year, which is the Women's Ones Volleyball Team. The Women's Volleyball Team won the league undefeated and have been promoted to Division One. They also went undefeated in the Northern Conference Cup, where they were the only York team to win gold. An amazing achievement. Well done to all the teams and particularly to the women's volleyball team. You guys deserved it. Hi guys, my name is Lily Dimitrov and I'm the captain of the women's first volleyball team of the University of York. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe in this pandemic and I am really, really sorry that we couldn't have done this in person and that we couldn't play roses and show them that roses are actually white. Um, so yeah, firstly I would like to thank York Sport for recognizing us as a team of the year. And I cannot express how proud and happy I am with what the girls and I have achieved this year. And I'm really, really sorry that I couldn't play roses with them again and that I won't be able to play with them again ever. So thank you girls for staying on top throughout the whole season, for overcoming difficulties such as losing key players, having injured players, and yet we remain on top of ourselves. So thank you for making my final year amazing and thank you to every single member of the volleyball club for showing the amount of support that you did because we couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you. That's it for me. Bye. Congratulations to women's volleyball. Now we will move on to our final award of the evening, club of the year. Here to present the award is Keith Morris, head of York Sport. And a reminder of the shortlist, volleyball, women's rugby, cheerleading, fencing, American football. Good evening, I hope you're all keeping safe and well. A few months ago I was at a sports awards which admittedly felt a little bit different to this one. However, at it, IBF World Featherweight Champion Josh Warrington was, was telling people that at times things can feel a bit different and a bit difficult and at times it's dedication and per um, perseverance and determination that will help you see things through because it can feel like it's just not your year and at such times you need to um, recognise and take the positives out of what's actually happened so you can move forward positively into the future. I reference that because I see those qualities in our teams and our clubs and our, um, those involved in sport around campus. Um, and this year, the way the season's finished and for some how their university experience has finished, 
it might seem like it's just not been your year. Um, what I would flag up is that you are still, like tonight, you are part of something special and you shouldn't lose sight of the experience, what you've achieved, the experiences you've had, the friendships you've made and the memories you've made. Because those friendships and those memories are going to last way past lockdown and way into the future and, and past your time at university even. Tonight is different. <clears throat> it feels different. Um, however, we're not celebrating the same place together, but we are still celebrating outstanding achievements, performances, um, commitment and contributions. Wherever you are tonight as part of the worldwide University of York community, don't lose sight as a York student, um, and particularly the sports students and, the, and those involved that we're celebrating tonight, you bring a vibrancy to the campus. Um, you're the lifeblood of the campus. And whilst things might have felt quiet in the last few months, um, that vibrancy will return and a lot of that will be through you and the contributions you make and what you, you go on to achieve. However, I'm here to present the Club of the Year Award. Um, this is an award that's given to a club that's had fantastic, outstanding um, sporting performance, has uh, increased its participation um, and its engagement, promoted diversity and um, inclusivity as well as get involved in local community or fundraising on a local and national level. Very strong category and there are two highly commended clubs in the category and they are York Hornets and York Centurions. Congratulations to both of them. The Hornets had one of the most successful seasons ever despite being curtailed because of Covid like so many. They took eight teams to the Nationals winning three first places three second places and a um, one third, uh, third place. Their captain, Tesney Jones, won a choreography award and as well as in that, they've increased their development squad to give more people an opportunity to participate as well as holding various charity events including a showcase event in Central Hall. Congratulations to the, to the Hornets. The Centurions also had their most successful season ever. They won their league, were promoted and to Division 1 and were seeded in their playoff game for the first time ever um, as well as raising over a thousand pounds in the Movember campaign. So congratulations to uh, the Centurions also. However, the winner of the 2020 Club of the Year award is Women's Rugby. Congratulations to Women's Rugby. Having been promoted last year, their first team finished second in the Premier Division, again finishing as York's highest books ranked teams. The second team won Division 3, winning all but one of their games um, and gaining promotion also. And at the same time, the club have expanded their development squad to give more opportunity to, to more people, as well as working widely within York Sport Union. Um, within the Red Flag campaign, the charity darts event for British Heart Foundation and SASH, but also for the uh, Virtual Roses um, really organised by the Netball Club. So congratulations to Women's Rugby, congratulations to all of the winners and nominees tonight and also congratulations to Maddie and the team and everyone has been involved in sport this year and put tonight um, together. Congratulations and stay well. I'm Julia, I'm the President of Women's Rugby. It's an absolute honour to have been nominated for Club of the Year and an absolute privilege to win. Um, we've had another amazing year here at Eurofka, um, despite all the challenges of the year. Uh, the first team have finished second in the Premiership Division, um, despite thinking that we were we were going to struggle to stay in that league. And the second team have been promoted for the first time in years, which is absolutely fantastic. And the improvement we've seen from them has been amazing. And overall, the year's just been, it's been fantastic to be the president of such an amazing club. And I'm only upset that we haven't been able to end it with roses in the way that we'd wanted. But I'm wishing everyone well in these unprecedented circumstances. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful summer. As Colours Ball 2020 comes to an end, I would again like to say a massive thank you for all the hard work, dedication and passion you have displayed whilst representing York Sport Union this year. This evening is just the latest in a long line of events where our community has come together despite being further apart than ever before. It is truly inspirational to see you continuing with your activities while they are restricted and this spirit and initiative 
will stand you in great stead wherever your future takes you. To all our graduating students, goodbye and thank you. We hope to see you back at Roses next year. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.